what's going on, man? Hey, Metal Madman! <laughs> What's up? Oh, well, listen, I'm really excited uh, we were able to get in contact with you. I, I love your videos. I can't stop watching them. Thanks, but it's funny because I, I was reading some of your stuff, and we have, like, a very parallel type of deal, you know, with that. Yeah, man, I was going to say, you and I probably split at birth. I feel like we're, like, we're, have you seen the movie Twins? Yeah, 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 with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. <laughs> You're like my Danny DeVito. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, let me let me ask you something. I mean, who, who is the Metal Madman? Well, so the Metal Madman basically is a is an extension of me. You know, as, as you do wrestling, you have a, a, a you know a, a, a persona. You know, so many uh, I do radio as well, and so many people were and, you know very monotone and kind of boring. And I wanted to bring a little bit more excitement, a little bit of silliness. You know, that's why I laughed when you actually understood what I was doing. You know, like too many people take that stuff seriously. They're like, mm -hmm. I go, oh, anybody? It wasn't really about the beer chug. I mean, I did that to promote craft beer. Well, let's let's talk about that. What what is the uh, what is the beer chug? What why why? Uh, do now, you... now here's the thing. I started uh, my radio show. It's not terrestrial. It's uh, through the internet. Uh, in 2006, and I would be live on here, and I have an interactive chat room, and they would be like, you know, uh, this show's getting awesome, or whatever, and I would, I would be high, you know, sweaty, so I, one day I pounded a beer, and I just happened to say on my show, I'm like, you know, oh, I just, you know, slammed a beer on the show, and they were like, oh, we want to see it. So I recorded it, threw it up on YouTube. Back then, it was I never did it before. This was in 2007. You 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 have some really nice like craft beers there, and you just chug them. I mean, some people might think. Well, you... that's the thing, exactly. Like on Beer Advocate, they kicked me off because I, you know, you're supposed to appreciate it. You're not supposed to chug it. You know, you're supposed to chug. Right, but everybody like, knows sipping a beer isn't metal. Exactly. I'm like, that's not very metal. I mean, I'm gonna go on here and, and talk about it. Oh my palate. Oh, this tastes like this, and this throws it out. You just want to get that beer inside you, and you want to smash that bottle on your head and put I'm up the horns. Right now as I talk to you. <laughs> okay, what's your uh, beef with sleeves? How come every video you don't have sleeves? You know what that started out. A lot of people were always saying that. Now they're like, "Oh, what are you trying to show off? Like, you, you know, you take your muscle or whatever." And I'm, I'm not ripped or anything. I mean, I do work out, but I, I, uh, I have an overactive sweat gland, so I sweat a lot. Yeah, you are I a like sweaty guy. Very, you know what I mean? Very so, exactly. So I'm always sweating. I mean, that's like you. I mean, if you wrestle, you don't want to wrestle. And, you know, I mean, you can't be like, uh, what's that guy there now? No, I hear and you. That, when, you're, when you're chugging beer and talking on the radio, you want to be like, you need to be able to move. You need to be aerodynamic. Well, well that's it. So a lot of people think I do it to, like, be like, you know, this is real tough. I'm like, actually, it's just real comfortable. But then when people started talking about it, I'm like, oh, from now on, I'm never going to do a video with sleeves again. Metal Madman, can I make a suggestion? Sure. Perhaps, uh, along with losing sleeves, maybe you lose pants, too. No, no, I couldn't do that. <laughs> you, may, you might see a spike in your views. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I would. I see a lot of spike in a lot of stuff. <laughs> What's a Teletubby lover? What is that? Um, do you that, hate... That, a Teletubby is a... There's another famous YouTube guy that has over 400,000 subscribers. Is he British he or a baby? <laughs> Uh, no, he's a, he's a grown adult. He, he's actually from Troy, New York. Uh, and he's a, he eats all this crazy stuff. He dresses in blue. Okay, do I and, like this and, guy? Uh, I won't I? tell you who he is, but if you if you just Google a guy who eats tampons, you'll find out who he is. And I'm not joking. Mm. Metal Madman, <laughs> you're making me hungry over here. <laughs> you're gonna be like, oh, I can't wait. I have a delicatessen coming up tonight. <laughs> All right, so that's a that's a dig at another uh, YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, that, okay. that's that's his thing. Me and him have had this whatever, and he's mad because he, he came attacking me. And they, you know, I've had Twitter wars with Tommy Lee and Motley Crue. Uh, I had a Jeff Kate from Queensrÿche was doing a rant, a contest that I entered, and he featured my video on his contest. So I, I've been around doing this whole thing. I'm kind of like. I'm like a, a wrestler in my own way, you know, like an, an online guy that goes around and, you know. When uh, when are you and the Teletubby guy from Troy gonna, gonna you know, squash it, gonna, gonna bury the hatchet? When are you guys gonna smooch and make up? Never. <laughs> Never. Not even, Never. what if he wants to chug a beer with you? Nah, even if he wants to chug a beer, I'll, I'll, I'll kick his hiney, as they say, and, and, and then I'll chug a beer with him. <laughs> okay. What if you chug a beer and you get to feed him that same beer like a baby bird? Possibly, but I doubt it. 
All right, I might be able to make that work. I'm a, I'm a powerful guy here in the Capital Region. I, I, I see that. That's why I was surprised. And it's funny that uh, my sister actually listens to you. Like, All right, so uh, you, you close up every video by yelling, Believe it! What's with That's the, right. What's with the believe it? What, what is that? Is that just a catchphrase? Uh, that actually started with other videos now. I see you like to play disc golf. I do trick shot videos as well as Chuck Beers on my channel, my YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. So I'll, I'll take a football, I'll throw it from, you know, like 60 yards away, and hit a beer bottle, or I'll throw a Frisbee into a basketball hoop or, or whatever. And uh, people are like, oh, right. my God, that's so cool. So what I would do is after I'd make the trick shot, I would walk up and show them whatever, and I would just, it just as I started saying in every video, I would say, believe it! I get and it. You're like, you a, know, you're like the Robert Riffley of YouTube. Right, you know, exactly. God, I remember him. You, Which, call, these, you call these videos precision and accuracy. Are now, you, you know why I do that? Because are you precision drunk? and accuracy are, usually, are basically the same thing. So people will like be trying to scientifically tell me why they're the same, but I'm trying to tell them why they're different. Okay, precision but, will be... You know, being able to hit the target, but the accuracy, like say I'm throwing a Frisbee into a trash can sideways, in order to keep that Frisbee into the trash can at sideways, there don't have to only be accuracy, but there has to be precision at the right amount of velocity that you throw it in order that it does goes in and doesn't bounce back out. Okay, so that's that's idiotic. Hey, why is that idiotic? <laughs> I just didn't like the explanation. I wanted to know, are you are you drunk when you're doing these throws? Never. Never, I okay. I mean, you know how much, you know much beer it would take to, for me to get drunk? It, it would take me a keg. Right, you're like uh, you're like Denzel Washington from Flight. That's it. You're you know, it's like, that's why I was laughing. People are like, oh, I want to go drinking with the madman. I'm like, by the time you get done drinking with me, you're going to be in a coma. Do you spend I mean, a lot of money on beer then if it takes you a long time to get drunk or do you just never get drunk? I can't. I got a high tolerance. I can't get drunk. That must be a rough life. I mean, now, if I start if I started mixing stuff, you know, you start mixing in the hard stuff with the beer, that might be a different story. But if I'm just drinking straight beer, uh, I mean, I could, I could party all night long, and I'll, I'll, I'm watching everybody else get hammered, and I'm like, hey, what's going on? When you're chugging, do you think you're, like, uh, Joey Chestnut is pounding 61 hot dogs in, in seven minutes. Do you think you're a pretty fast beer chugger? I think I'm a fast beer chugger, absolutely, but I'm in no way near like these competitors that just do this for a living. This is just a hobby for me. Like I said, I started this as a joke, so it just caught on, and then people wanted me to chug craft beers because everybody was chugging like Budweiser. And, I'm like, anybody could chug a Budweiser. It's like water. I mean, I, you know, if I if I scooped up urine in my toilet, it would, it would have the same effect. Okay, well, you've seen you've seen videos and pictures of me. You know the size of me. I know the size of you, and you know the size of you. Do you think you could beat me in a chugging contest? Absolutely. You all right? So you, I I think you're very wrong, and I want to I want to branch out the offer right now. If we're ever in the same city, which I, you come here all the time, well, I'm always here, so we could set up a day now. I'll be in, I'll be back in the area next week. So if you want to set up a, a time, we could get together and do the chunky thing. I'll, I'm, I'm game for it. We're gonna have to make some stakes to this because this is gonna happen, and you're going down. Oh, now you're going to challenge the madman. Now, in the ring, you may be one thing, but outside of the ring with a pint glass in your hand, I'm going to bury you.